It smells like coffee. I can tell. Stop <laughs> lying to me. Just try it. I love coffee. <laughs> ben, did you actually make me do though? I'm such a terrible ambassador. What is this, a coffee lunch? I just said I hate coffee. Coffee people, tea people. Why don't we do a poll? Oh my God, let's start it out with a really obnoxious controversy. <laughs> Decide. Coffee or tea? There's no world where we can live in harmony, okay? You have to pick one. 54% say coffee. It's so close, but like maybe if we had a caveat and we're like, maybe it's not morning, okay? Maybe it's evening. Then I think tea is way is gonna kill it. So I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of footnotes. And the bowl. Tea tastes like dirty water too, you're just wrong. You're just incorrect. It's okay to have an incorrect opinion, it's fine. Guys, what am I? Yes. I'm a coffee bean. Yes, I bought it for this launch. Leave me alone, I like to match my clothes to my nails. I'm your favorite streamer, be quiet, okay. Just curious about the reason for collection, no box. So this morning we launched Hollow Taco new Barista Bundle, which includes five new shades and a new crushed holographic formula. Well, not technically new, but generally to a lot of people, it does feel very new because we don't have any of this formula in the existing lineup currently. While there will be other collections coming out this year that will have a box, this one we just thought since it was landing in January, since people might be a little tired after holiday shopping, maybe this one felt right to not have a box for that reason. Because of the nature of the shades being like beiges and browns, maybe people feel that they just wanna pick a few of them. January launch, make it a little more chill. That's also why I didn't live stream it. That's why you're here now. So we're just doing it a little bit differently this time. Ooh, girl, you look like an espresso bean. No, I look like a coffee bean. Or that's, that is espresso that's coffee. same thing. Thanks, man. Smells like coffee. You added coffee to it. I can tell, stop <laughs> lying to me. Just try it. I love coffee. <laughs> ben, did you actually make me do though? I've been caught, I'm an imposter. You could compare them. Oh, much better. <laughs> I'm such a terrible ambassador. What is this, a coffee lunch? I just said I hate coffee. Did someone order a cup of hollow? We've got just the thing to satisfy your neutral nail cravings with a heaping serving of hollow sparkle. Indulge in this bundle of five crushed holographic polishes in a range of neutral tones designed to delight. Sophia! I'm in my skims era, yes. Tried to reach out to Kim Kardashian and I was like, listen, your skims, my nail polish? They look good together, but she didn't answer me. So here we are, you know, just uh, looking a little naked by ourselves, but it's all good. Uh, do you recognize these nails? <clears throat> just watcher of the year. It's Bentendo, everybody. This is a collection of neutral shades. Some may even consider them work appropriate, and I put that in quotations because work appropriate is a socially constructed thing that, you know, workplaces have decided it should exist. However, you can have the hollow that still feeds your soul because the formula is what's gonna please someone like you. Micro crushed asymmetrical flake of hollow sitting in a jelly with a different tint and they sparkle and glow on the nail. They kind of gleam and glimmer in the light. Like those Instagram stories have like a little sparkle filter. That's what this reminds me of. It's like a subtle hollow. It just goes We also have a bunch of different swatches, different nail lengths, different skin tones and all of these listing Skittle Manny's. Mm. Skittle Manny, Skittle Manny, ban! This is a good shot. The shades lean slightly different tones on different people, that's normal. And also lighting, cameras, all sorts of things can change it. So I hope that you'll kind of like observe all of these photos and take the average of them. What do we think? The swatches are immaculate, yes, yes. I feel like this is gonna be like frosted metals. It's hard to show in a picture. <laughs> In this house of hollow, we wear oat couture. This ivory oat-hued crushed holographic polish dazzles in the spotlight thanks to an infusion of holographic microflakes. Be on trend, get that fancy oat milk feeling. No, they are not dabbed on. This is probably three coats. It's gonna be two coat, two-ish coats for the darker shades, three coats for the lighter shades. It's, it's very like a wedding color. Someone said that and I was like, yes, oat couture. That's your wedding dress. 
on your nails right here. Goat couture, yeah. <laughs> Some days call for a latte over blushed ice. Is that a drink? I don't know, I just made it up. We're not shy about this shade. This blush infused crushed holographic polish has an alluring sparkle that twinkles like ice on a hot day. Naked nails, chill. We've got your fingertips covered. Do you wanna know something funny? Okay, you see how it says naked nails? This got flagged by Google like immediately when we submitted it for like partial nudity or whatever their like criteria is. So we had to do like a manual review. I feel like princess vibes. Princess Peach. Ben, there's a rumor that this shade is at the top of the tower in Jump King. Next, we've got Hollow Cappuccino. Do you remember? Do I need to pull up the video? Hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And if you live on the internet like I do, then you may have seen what has been named the Diamond Cappuccino. But then it became hollow. Long story short, there was a diamond cappuccino on Instagram five years ago that we were like, how is that edible? How can you sell this? It was like a dessert place in Mumbai, I believe. We tried to recreate it. We went down a whole ass rabbit hole trying to figure out like, is this edible or is it literally just like glitter that's like, should not be in your intestinal tract. Not that I'm a doctor. That's right, Kelsey. I played the long game with hollow cappuccino, okay? Looks like a glowing cappuccino. Don't drink it. Nope, chat, stop, stop. Don't drink the hollow to become the hollow. Your nails, this polish, need I say mocha? Dip into this mocha infused shade of crushed holographic polish and get energized by its gleaming sparkle. Go ahead and paint for an instant pick me up. So yes, all the micro flakes are technically silver, but when they're coated in a jelly, the color gets coated on top of the silver and they kind of work together to create the overall finish and color for all the chemists in the chat. Here's your microscope view. Okay, last one, espresso your hollow. Be yourself and espresso your hollow. Show your love for a bold crushed holographic look in this deep espresso shade with a heavy sprinkling of holographic microflakes. How much coffee do you need before you can express yourself? Whenever the jelly or the pigment color is darker, it's usually gonna be more fuller coverage quicker. So on me, this one's like, very opaque in one coat and like full coverage in two coats on me. Ground hollow, just like ground coffee. How do they look matte? That's, you're going to jail for that question. Okay, listen up. If you put matte on hollow, it kills hollow. Don't you know this? I did make you a swatch wheel with Matt because I knew someone was gonna ask that question and go to jail, but that's okay. You know, we'll give you time served. I know, it's staining, it's it's from the magnetics and I don't wear a base coat except Peely Base. <laughs> Very pigmented bright metallic shades will stain, not these shades. Um, in terms of staining, I didn't personally notice these do anything and I can tell, yes, because I have not stained nail under here. However, everyone's nails is different, everyone's porousness is different. Ben, stop it, what are you doing? Stop, okay, you're making me self-conscious. I'm gonna paint them. What's on my other hand? Hollow Cappuccino, the shade in the middle. Do you see that glow? Look, like I just really love this kind of like mid-brown here. I'm gonna put smoothing base on, which is only gonna do a little bit <laughs> for the stain. I'm really proud of this formula. So Highest Bitter was from our third anniversary gala collection. During a collection where we were introducing or just trialing different formulas, it's a sparkling concrete shade. This is the same micro flake scattered holographic pigment in it. However, there's something about doing it with like a brown or even like a light beige jelly that lends to the sparkliness of the holographic pigment coming through a little bit cleaner, a little bit better than in the gray shade. Like they're the same formula, but like they don't really end up looking the same. I think I'm gonna do a little Skittle action. One coat of each. And they're gonna look different once we build it up to opacity. Remember when I said that browns don't sell well? Well, guess what? When I tell you that the number one best selling polish from this collection will be brown. <laughs> Sales data, browns don't sell well, simply hold my latte. <laughs> We're doing consumer market research. Sally, stay away. Which shade is your fave? 
let's just do the first four and then I'll take the loser of the four, drop it, and then add the fifth. Oat couture, blushed ice, hollow cappuccino, or need I say mocha? The winner is blushed. Interesting. The loser of this poll is need I say mocha. So I'm gonna kick that one out and replace it. Now let's do poll number two. Oat couture, blushed ice, hollow cappuccino, and espresso your hollow. Susan, please, for my birthday, could I get a fifth pole up? Like literally, I just need five. We've got, oh, that's a closer tie. Oh, Couture and Blushed Ice. Did you guys change your mind? I feel like it does look like Blushed Ice coming out on top in the opinion poll research. And then we've got a close second with Oat Couture. And then we would have Espresso Your Hollow, darkest shade. And then we'd go to Hollow Cappuccino, which is the middle shade. Now for results in terms of actual sales, Ben ran this data just five minutes ago. And the top seller so far, first day of lunch, is Oat Couture, closely followed by Blushed Ice. So we've got a flip, got the opposite, which is interesting. Blushed Ice came out on top on stream, but the sales data say, nope, other way around. Interesting. Personally, you're gonna be shocked. Maybe you're gonna be shocked, I don't know. My favorite's Hollow Cappuccino. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I thought that my favorites were these two, the lightest and the darkest. I just find I really like the contrast of the two of them, whether together or independently. Since I've been wearing Hollow Cappuccino on my other hand, there's just something about it. It has like this golden sunrise kind of hidden hollow that just gleams through. But yeah, that's the second coat. I did a pretty generous second coat, so I probably don't need more than two coats on these two fingers. But I'm gonna do the, just a third coat on the two lighter shades. I'm gonna go ahead and add a nice thick coat of Glossy Taco. Let's move into the difference between different types of hollow. Okay, we're going back to school, all right, everybody? Someone asked me on uh, the community page on this channel whether a crushed hollow was the same as linear hollow or how it differed from hollow glitter. What's the difference? So I started writing them an essay and then I was like, why am I writing them an essay? Let me make a chart. <laughs> Let me make a table and I'll present it on stream. This is Burnt Bridges. This is Need I Say Mocha. This is Choco Hollow in case it's a little small. Linear hollow is tightly packed, uniform micro holographic pigments. Really, really, really tiny hollow. So tiny that the hollow Hollow looks like rainbows in a very tight line. Base of a linear hollow is typically a full coverage base, usually in one or two coats, depending on the shade. It's easily removed with nail polish remover in the same way that you would remove a creme nail polish. Crushed hollow, which is the newish formula, I define it as scattered asymmetrical, meaning like different shapes, different sizes. It's not totally perfect. Micro holographic flakes. The keyword is flake. They give off a glowing, kind of more subtle sparkle effect. They're a little more like dainty, but beautiful, stunning, kind of crushed diamonds look. A little bit larger than linear hollow. As a result of being a tinted jelly base with like a high ratio of micro holographic flakes, it has a buildable coverage. It's also easily removed with nail polish remover. And then we've got hollow glitter. It contains three different sizes of holographic hexagon shaped glitters. But then what happens is you have a tiny glitter and then there's like a medium glitter over top and there's a slightly bigger glitter over top and it looks so dazzling and beautiful, but it is harder to take off. If you want the maximum, like I just want to sparkle and be like, look at my nails. And it's like, wow, that like really blurry bouquet kind of look, you want hollow glitter. It sits in a tinted jelly base or a clear base like rainbow snow and has buildable coverage, or you can sponge it on for maximum hollow glitter payoff. The hollow taco, hollow barista bundle. Do you see the glow? Look, <gasps> when you hit that angle and you kind of blur it a little bit. Who wanted to see the mat? You freaking weirdos who are going to jail. Here you go. <laughs> you murdered the hollow. Why? Let's do some more comparisons. I asked you guys on the community page of the stream what shades you wanted to see it compared to. So I went through the list. This is Highest Bitter, which was the original experiment in a crushed holographic formula. That's Featured Guest. Then we've got Oat Couture. That's Menchie the Cat. Blushed Ice. Clay Rosé. Peach tea, cheap champagne, very saturated compared to everything else here. <laughs> really putting things in perspective. That's Sunset Simulation. That's Coral Chaser. This is See You Later Chai with Scattered Hollow Taco. Stunning. One coat black, just, you know, as a control subject. 
electrostatic. Someone asked to see this compared to Espresso Your Hollow, which I think is a really good comparison that I wouldn't have thought of. In seeing Espresso Your Hollow on me, some people have said that's black, but like, here you go, it's not. <laughs> it's not black. <laughs> it's deep brown. It's dark brown, guys. It's definitely dark brown. So that's Espresso Your Hollow. Choco Hollow. This is the Need I Say Mocha. That's the new one. Okay, that's Fairy Tale. Brown Magnetic. Oh, what's this? That is Magical Mustache. Yes, Mr. Julian Solomita's brown shade. No longer in circulation, but I added Flaky Hollow Taco on top. And then there's Xyler. I don't know, I just threw him in just to kind of show you the, how orange he is. A little summery swatch wheel. I'm just floating my iPhone flash over some of them. We've got some lighter shades on the top wheel and some darker shades on the bottom. They are not limited edition. Happy to say that we started off the year a little more chill with this small drop. If a shade happens to sell out before the next launch, uh, our plan is to restock it. Did you know today it's National Gourmet Coffee Day? Uh, yeah, let's just say I, I perfectly planned this for like all year. I knew which day was like related to coffee. <laughs> Next launch, what is this? We literally launched today. Give me a shot of espresso every time someone enters a stream where we're talking about new stuff that was literally came out six hours ago and they're like, okay, but what's next? Hint for next release. <clears throat> the next launch is a launch. Yes, it will be on a weekend. There is a collection box for the next launch. This weekend? No, not this weekend. Did I say this weekend? The next launch is March, 2021, according to ChatGPT. Next launch is a more traditional launch with a collection box. All collection boxes are limited edition. Um, and I'll be live streaming that on a Saturday. And it's the new formula. Okay, stop, stop. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy to hear you guys love the collection and um, you know, have some coffee tomorrow. Maybe not tonight, but tomorrow. I will see y'all later, bye.